Yeah, one more yeah. cup of coffee. Great. Got water. I can fill it up for you. That's okay. I got it. Good morning, everyone. Guten Morgen, auch nach Deutschland. Es hat eine neue Woche begonnen. begonnen. A new week has begun. It is Monday and I just looked at the calendar. We have three weeks of summer break left. Unbelievable. So, wir haben noch drei Wochen Sommerferien. Ich kann es kaum glauben. And I am going to one of the local nurseries to see if they have some perennials and usually at that time of the year they are price reduced they have some special offers because they want to get rid of all their plants because summer is coming to an end it doesn't look like at this point but planting season certainly is coming to an end so i'm going to see what they have and um, this week we just take you along we're going to start slowly our winter preparation. I know, hard to believe. It is super warm, over 80 degrees. And um, yeah, but we need to face reality. Winter will come at a certain point and we want to be prepared. So we are going to order some wood um, that we need to stack in our wood shed. Slowly start gathering vegetables. Um, starting to freeze them and uh, like I said getting wood and finish some smaller house projects because some of the stuff we only can do in the summer. Also ich fahre heute zu einer Gärtnerei und schaue ob die ein paar Stauden haben, weil das ist die Zeit ähm, wo diese meistens reduziert sind. Der Sommer neigt sich dem Ende, obwohl es super warm ist. Wir haben gestern 30 Grad und auch das jetzt Der Anfang der Woche soll sehr warm werden, ähm, aber der Winter wird kommen. Deswegen müssen wir uns auch ein bisschen auf den Winter vorbereiten. Wir werden Holz bestellen und das Ganze muss dann hier in den Holzschuppen. Und wir nehmen euch einfach mit und wir gucken mal, was diese Woche so alles hier passiert. The summer was in full swing and brought temperatures in the mid 80s and higher. As much as it was something we had to get used to, the heat gave flowers, fruits and vegetables the last energy needed for their final growth. I love how I can go outside during this time of the year to cut flowers and place them in vases around the house. I discovered the first red tomatoes and harvested the first beans. Hello again. Are you watching over those beans? Mm -hmm. Are you my gardening dog? I cut and blanched the beans to freeze and if there was something our garden didn't provide us with, we went to the local farms. We are at Highland Farm out here on China Hot Springs Road, 23 miles um, China Hot Springs Road and we are picking um, not raspberries, strawberries and uh, yeah, let's see how many we can get. <laughs> Yeah, these are all, I would just use them for jelly. You're still at the strawberry farm, but picking now, oh, not, oh my gosh, we're picking zucchini. <laughs> Okay, another plan. Show me how you pick a zucchini. How am I going to pick one? Yeah. Well, I'm going to just twist it. Oh, this one broke. Oh, great. Uh, let's take another big one. I think then I'm good. 
here we go. The next day, Craig and I drove to his supervisor's house, who was getting ready to move. Here at my supervisor's house, because she's not gonna be my supervisor any longer. She is moving out of state and clearing the freezer out. And we're here to take some uh, salmon and halibut here. We did not only pick up salmon and halibut, we also took some rhubarb. I added the rhubarb to my own rhubarb harvest, made some rhubarb cake, and canned some strawberry rhubarb jam. From the leftover strawberries, I also made a strawberry cake. Our firewood delivery came earlier than expected. Everybody else was at work and I decided to stack the wood by myself. Having the summers off gives me a lot of time to do those things that I love to do. I've always believed in incorporating natural movements in my everyday life. I see it as a sort of functional fitness. We just got some firewood. Uh, one quart of firewood we ordered. Um, we mainly heat with oil. Uh, heating fuel this is just to substitute because sometimes it's getting a little bit chilly and it's just a real nice warmth and we don't have to turn on our um, heat too much and don't have to use too much um, heating fuel and also sometimes it can happen that we have a uh, no electricity because there's an outage so it's really nice to have an additional heat source so this is going to be some wood for the winter and um, it's pretty dry so ready to use we also have to still cut a few trees down or they broke already there in the back that will also be some firewood but not uh, ready for this winter because it needs to dry and yeah I'm going to stack this in a bit, but I also have some stuff going on inside. I had a slow morning, so yeah, super grateful that it came so early. I called this morning and here it is, one o'clock. Good. Wir haben gerade Brennholz bestellt, so das kam super schnell. Ich habe heute Morgen angerufen und jetzt ist es schon da, ein Kord. Ich habe hab nie Brennholz in Deutschland bestellen müssen, so ich kann euch wirklich nicht sagen, was das für ein Volumen ist. So ja, das sind die ersten Wintervorbereitungen. Wir heizen ja eigentlich mit Heizöl ähm, und wir haben eine ganz normale Heizung. Und äh, das ist so mehr so das Backup. Also erstens wird es halt auch ganz schön kalt manchmal. Es ist schön, wenn man so ein bisschen ähm, eine Holzwärme hat durch den Holzofen und dann... Ähm, müssen wir halt dann auch die Heizung nicht so arg aufdrehen. Also es hilft, ob es wirklich billiger ist. Klar, wenn man das Holz selbst machen kann, wenn die Bäume, wenn man da seine eigenen Bäume fällt, ja. Aber so viele Bäume haben wir nicht. Da hinten sind zwar ein paar abgebrochen, die müssen wir dann noch schneiden. Aber ja, also ich denke, wenn man es bestellt, 
So wirklich günstiger ist es nicht. Es ist halt auch schön, dass wir noch einen Ofen haben, weil manchmal ist hier Stromausfall und dann geht nichts mehr. Und dann wird es halt wirklich schnell kalt, wenn es dann draußen ganz arge Minusgrade sind. Da ist so ein Holzofen schon sehr nützlich. I had some lunch and um, gonna get started. My plan is to be done by five o'clock. That's the time when the US um, soccer team will play against the Netherlands. So I want to watch the game and I told myself I'm going to be done and have taken a shower and have walked the dogs by that time because after that I'm going to chill and watch the game. Let's see if I'm going to get it done. done and uh, took me roughly I don't know, one and a half hour two hours I also had a break and uh, I'm raking all the little pieces I'm gonna put them in this bag and store it in the greenhouse I always use it as kindle wood and um, then I'm gonna walk the dogs and uh, I don't think I make it Uh, kickoff happened already so I will not watch the game live but thankfully we can record it thanks to YouTube TV and I will just watch it at a later time and will not have any contact to anybody so I don't know the score because watching a game knowing the score is not really fun anyhow I'm finishing up here The next couple of days brought more hot summer days. The dogs tried not to spend too much energy and we stayed the majority of the time outside and soaked as much daylight and vitamin D in as possible. During these late summer days, when autumn is around the corner, I always think of the children's book Frederick by Leo Leone. The story talks about Frederick, a field mouse who prepares differently from the other mice for winter. While the other mice gather food, Frederick collects sun rays, colors and words. Also, it is vital to prepare for the future. We should not have to lose sight of nurturing our souls, going outside even as adults and playing. Next day, Craig went to the Alaska Department of Fish and Game to fill out some paperwork for a fishing proxy. In the past, we went fishing by ourselves, but this year's schedule didn't allow. Here in the state of Alaska, another person can give in the authority to fish for someone else. In order to be eligible, someone must fall under the four categories listed on the Fish and Game website and fill out a proxy fishing form. Bring all the documentation to prove eligibility. Both parties need also a resident fishing license. Caleb, one of Craig's co-workers, offered to act as a proxy and to fish salmon on Craig's behalf. Am nächsten Tag ging Craig zur Fisch- und Gamebehörde, um ein paar Unterlagen für einen Angelvertreter auszufüllen. Früher gingen wir alleine angeln, aber dieses Jahr ließen es die Zeitpläne nicht zu. Hier im Bundesstaat Alaska kann einer anderen Person die Befugnis erteilt werden, für eine andere Person zu fischen. Um berechtigt zu sein, muss jemand zu den vier auf der Fisch- und Game-Webseite aufgeführten Kategorien gehören ein Proxy-Angelformular ausfüllen und alle Unterlagen zum Nachweis der Berechtigung mitbringen und beide Parteien benötigen eine ansässige Angellizenz. 
Caleb, einer von Craigs Kollegen, bot an, als Stellvertreter zu fungieren und in Craigs Namen für unseren Haushalt Lachs zu fischen. Caleb and his girlfriend took a seven-hour drive through the night to the Kenai River. Dip netting takes place from late June through July in the marine waters of the Cook Inlet just off the mouth of the Kenai River. In the past, we brought the salmon freezer ready home. This time things were a little bit different. Caleb was fishing and Craig made a mountain out of a molehill at home. So for Craig, this seems to be a little bit of a bigger issue. I don't know really what the problem is. It's just maybe a challenge. I don't know if it's even a Fish challenge. Fish crap everywhere. Do you even have a table for this? Uh, kind of. Yeah, it's at Fred Miles. That's where it's at. <laughs> You gotta go purchase this now. The is backed up, so they would have to stay for some more days for that to happen. So what's gonna happen now is Caleb is gonna bring the fish, gut it, full salmon, and uh, Alex is going to fillet them. I don't think I'm gonna do nothing but hold the table or something. I really don't really wanna be involved with this. But we want the fish, and uh, I guess sometimes you have to, uh, you have to do things that you don't want to do. It is almost 10.30 in the evening and Craig and I have to stay up because we are waiting on one of Craig's co-workers who is coming back to Fairbanks with fresh salmon that he caught at the Kenai River. And um, yeah. We are a little bit tired. I'm not a night hawk, um, but we have to wait because we are getting 20 fresh sockeye salmon, red salmon. We are super excited and super grateful that um, he caught them for us. It looks like we found a way to stay away. We are watching the Germany versus Colombia game. It's recorded. They played last night, I think in the middle of the night hour time. And uh, we'll see who's going to win. Special thanks to Caleb for his videos to and from the Kenai River and all of the salmon. Well, thanks again for joining us um, as we prepped or started to prep for winter. I believe we got the wood done. Yep, it's done. We started canning. 
for the jam and um yeah got some i don't food. know what she's talking about it's something she did yes we were working and um we um got some fish in the freezer yeah quite a bit and it looks like it's still warm and summer does not want to leave us but we take it as long as we can yeah, stay around a little bit longer long as you can and Please. um yeah i think thank you to each and everyone who subscribed to our channel yeah, we've got a few you. more subscribers so we are super happy about that and thank you to each and everyone who supports us already for a longer time and yeah let us know how you are doing. Are there any things you are doing to prep for winter? If you have to prep really, maybe you live in, a, in somewhere where it's warm all around. To be from my home state, you don't have to really do anything. Just keep doing it, whatever you do. Yes. If, Here, you gotta, better be ready. <laughs> that's true. Well, I think we're gonna close out here and um, take care. We will see you next time. Sending love. Peace. From Alaska. Thank you so much for watching and all of your continuous support. And if you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.